Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. And in today's headlines, NASA, the American Space Agency, has landed Perseverance on the surface of Mars. It is the latest rover that will explore Mars both by land and air. Whoa, 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 hang on. Did you just say by air? That means that NASA's put a drone on Mars. That's cool. Quick, get to the chopper. Sorry, I couldn't resist. More about it after this. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Keith and on today's video, we're talking about something near and dear to me. It's something that really interests me and that's space or space exploration. I'd be able to tell by the Saturn V just there. But anyway, we wouldn't normally talk about that on this channel, but NASA did something really cool yesterday and it's quite pertinent to this channel. So Perseverance, the latest rover that NASA has built and sent to Mars, touched down successfully yesterday. And in her belly is something called Ingenuity, which is in effect a drone. That's right, people. NASA has landed a drone on Mars, and it's really cool. Now, this is not your bulk standard Mavic 2 drone. This is a little bit more special. In actual fact, it costs $23 million to make. So it's, it's, it's not cheap, but this, as I said, this thing's really cool. So I'm gonna give you a few specs on this. So basically, it looks a bit like a helicopter. It's got two counter returning props, and they're made from carbon fiber, and they are huge. They are quite big. And the reason being is that Mars's atmosphere is only 1% of Earth. So they have to be large and they have to spin really fast. And I'm talking between 2,300 and 2,900 RPM. That's about five times the speed of a standard helicopter here on Earth. And that's about 70% of the speed of sound. Now, the why is the atmosphere is only 1%? The gravity is only 38% of that of Earth. So that helps things way less there. But even so, that is an awful amount of power just to get this thing in the air. Now they've tested it in a vacuum chamber here on Earth and it, everything passed. If you tried to take this off just outside your house, it wouldn't do it. On Mars, it should work. And I'm really excited about the first mission. Now the weight of this thing is about 1.7 kilograms, which is quite light for, for what it is going to do. That's about twice the weight of your, your average Mavic 2 Pro drone. Now the battery is 40 watt hours. That's only about 90% of a Mavic 2. So you can probably guess that this thing isn't gonna stay in the air that long. In fact, it's only going to do about 1.5 minutes, 90 seconds in the air any one time. That's because two thirds of that 40 uh, watt hour battery life is being used just to keep the thing warm and keep everything insulated. Because as a drone pilot's out there, not me because I live in Thailand, but as drone pilots out there that live in other parts of the world, you will know that drones don't play as nice in the cold. So this thing has to be kept warm and two thirds of the power of that battery is gonna be doing just that. It takes about a day to charge thanks to the little solar panel that sits on top of the props. And as I said, it will only do one mission a day on average and it will only last about 1.5 minutes. Um, it will fly about five meters maximum altitude. So it's not gonna fly that high and it isn't going to fly that far away from Perseverance, the rover. Now it uses Zigbee to communicate with the rover, which is cool, because Zigbee is basically your, a, a smart home protocol. It's used to, it's, so the protocol that's used to control the lights you see behind me, and like Ikea bulbs and things like that. So that's kind of, and it also runs Linux. For, so for you Linux nerds out there, this thing runs on Linux, which again, is really quite cool and really nerdy. So. Those facts don't sound exciting in the fact that it's not going to fly very high, but if this is successful, which fingers crossed it will be, at the time of recording this video, it, it's only been down there less than 24 hours, so it'll be a week or two before they start their first tests on this thing. But if it is successful, this will be the first of many, many drones to be sent to uh, the surface of Mars. And it's really cool and it's really exciting. The future is bright if this thing works. It will be the first powered flight on the surface of another planet. Now think about that. The first powered flight of any man-made object on the surface of a different planet. And that just blows my mind. And I'm really, as you can probably tell by this video, I'm really excited about it. I hope you're excited too. If you are, please leave a comment in the comments below. Let's discuss this. Let's 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 geek out about this. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you didn't, thanks for watching anyway. If you did, please consider hitting the subscribe button and the bell button so you don't miss another one of my videos. But for now, I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.